This is the section of the O11 basic module devoted to backbone network technologies, the PIL1, introducing the topic. In this uh, PIL, we refer to the main characteristics of a backbone network, what is a backbone network, which characteristics it has, and the technologies we are going to mm, consider in this uh, uh, section. Uh, if you remember the uh, open system interconnection model we presented in the introductory uh, module, um, these seven layers uh, concerning to the backbone transport networks, we are focusing in the three first layers, in the three lower layers. But in general, we consider, or we used to say, that backbone uh, network technologies uh, covers layer one, layer two, and half of layer three, because IP is on top, or the backbone network is usually supporting the IP networks. So usually we talk about the two and a half uh, layer instead of three, of the third layer. Okay, so here is the story. Here we see the internet protocol suite, suite compared with the open system interconnection seven layers. And we see that where is uh, the circle, the red circle, where we say not specified is where we have the technologies that are going to support the IP network and refers to layer one, layer two, and two and a half. The backbone network technologies can be either circuit switching or packet switching based. Circuit switching based uh, networks are communications between two terminals A and B is achieved uh, through a circuit set up before starting the communications. The circuit, a circuit circuit cannot change during the communication and it is dedicated exclusively to this communication. So that means that if we are not using it, uh, this capacity, its capacity and resources allocated are wasted. The circuit uh, simulates the behavior of uh, cable end-to-end. Uh, so, if this uh, circuit switching technologies require uh, uh, establishment, require three main stages. The circuit establishment, the circuit maintenance during the data transfer, and then the circuit teardown. Signaling is required for each of these phases, especially for the setup and teardown. Uh, and on the other hand, we have uh, packet switching technologies. Uh, in packet switching technologies, the information is divided into units of limited length, called packets. Each packet uses the resource fully while being transmitted. Packets share the same transmission and switching resources. Packet switching allows serving larger number of users, not warranted quality of service unless if it's specified, and resources are distributed through a a statistical multiplexing mechanism. That means that if we are not using the resources, uh, other packets can take advantage of them. So one of the particular characteristics of the packet switching technologies or networks is the um, fragmentation. So the packets cannot be as long as uh, uh, we want because otherwise if we all the block of information we want to transmit it's uh, uh, allocated in a packet that it's uh, very close to the circuit switching uh, mode of, uh, of working. So the packet switching limits the maximum block uh, size information which can be transmitted and if the block of information to be transmitted uh, has a length greater than the maximum size allowed which is the usual case the block of information this block of information has to be uh, fragmented into packets. So uh, besides of that, each packet comprises a header and a data, a user data, the block information, part of the block of information we want to transmit. And uh, in uh, particular case of the header will include data to the destination, information that allows the packet to uh, trans uh, be transmitted through the network and reach the destination, and also information required for reassembling the information in a hole at the destination. 
Of course, if we uh, fragment the information, we have to reassemble it at the destination. This is clear, so we do not uh, need to spend much time on in this. Uh, reassembling is the process uh, by which the original data block is recovered from the fragments. The reassembly of the information is generally, generally performed at destination. The header must contain all information necessary to reconstruct this original the original block and usually enough uh, just a sequence number mm, or an indicator of the final fragment right so if we do not have a complete sequence of sequence numbers it means that one of the packets has been, has been lost and has to be request uh, its recovery um, the recovery must be uh, set policies for delay loss duplicated uh, fragments uh, uh, again, uh, looking at the or still looking at the packet switching networks, there are two types of uh, working modes in these networks. One is datagram switching mode, uh, also known as connectionless mode, where each packet is treated independently. Packets can follow different routes, and possible loss of sequences uh, can uh, can happen. The destination node is typically responsible for the restoring this order and the header must include all information necessary to reach the destination. The other working mode of the packet switching uh, networks is the virtual circuit switching mode. In the virtual circuit switching mode we uh, have to establish a, a circuit but in this case is not a a uh, fixed circuit, um, a circuit that uh, allocates all the resources to a particular source and destination, but it's uh, a virtual circuit what we establish between the source and destination before sending data con data, the data we want to transfer. Like in the circuit switching, this uh, virtual circuit uh, connection has to be established and then during the establishment uh, maintain it, uh, we transmit the uh, information and once we finished we have or we can tear down this circuit. All packets of a certain communication follow the path dedicated by the preset virtual circuit. <coughs> Information reaches the destination in an ordered manner, so there is no possibility in most of the cases that the packets can become to the destination in out of order. The virtual circuit uh, mode compared with the typical circuit switching networks um, main difference is that the virtual circuit can be shared by different source to destination the physical resources of this link supporting the virtual circuits so uh, is the way to perform what we call it before mm, statistical multiplexing so coming with the conclusions uh, backbone networks uh, concerns to network nodes for sending information efficiently. Infrastructure is shared by all network users. Each users uh, it uses typically guided, usually fiber optics media, usually requires an investment proportionally lower than the access network, so it's uh, um, the budget can be shared among all uh, many uh, and points. And examples of this type of uh, backbone networks are synchronous digital hierarchy, optical transport networks, frame relay, multi-protocol label switching, carrier ethernet, and so on. So in this um, section um, of the basic module devoted to the backbone technologies, we are going to uh, deal with uh, two kind of networks. One is typically layer one uh, network technologies and the other is the layer two network technologies, two and two and a half. So for what regards to layer two technologies, we'll discuss SONET, uh, the, the, the USA terminology for synchronous digital hierarchy, or SDH in our case, optical transport network, uh, when that when includes a control plane, it's uh, known as automatically switched optical network. These two technologies are typically uh, su supporting circuit switching uh, 
functionalities are typically circuit switching networks and then layer two which are uh, based on packet switching multi-protocol level, uh, level switching and carrier ethernet will be the main focus of this uh, subsection multi-protocol level switching is uh, virtual circuit network oriented uh, oriented network and carrier ethernet it's uh, based uh, in uh, connectionless uh, function uh, fun fun uh, connectionless uh, mode it's a connectionless mode but currently there are uh, tries to uh, include a control plane and convert this technology in uh, virtual circuit connection based as usual the main uh, reference bibliographic reference we suggest for extend these concepts, uh, the ones I have been the discussed in this presentation, plus the, the more detailed we will see in the two ad attached presentations, um, is the data computer communications of Willing Stallings. This uh, section has been prepared by Herman Santos and Josep Sole Pareta from the Electrical Engineering School of UPC and has been related by Joseph Solepare.